Good afternoon and welcome to the new history museum that's the Carnegie on this blustery day. So, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, I am proud to welcome you to the future Waukegan History Museum at the Carnegie. The original building was built in 1903 as a library with a donation from the Andrew Carnegie of $25,000, with, of course, the caveat that the city takes care of it. In 2014, the Carnegie Library was added to the National Park Service's National Register of Historic Spaces places, and designated as a Waukegan Historic Landmark. In 2019, the Waukegan City Council agreed to transfer ownership of the Carnegie Library to the Waukegan Park District. Yay! And in 2020, we officially acquired the building, and now we are here for this historic groundbreaking. The Waukegan Park District has been committed to the expansion of the Waukegan History Museum, and for the 50th anniversary of the Waukegan Historical Society, the Waukegan Park District's Board of Commissioners approved a resolution to fund the expansion of the Waukegan History Museum by the year 2029. At this point, we are ahead of schedule, and excited to partner with the Waukegan Historical Society on such an important project for our community. The community will greatly benefit from this project with expanded history offerings and events. We can't welcome, we can't wait to welcome the community into the renovated building and we are saving an important piece of Waukegan's history. Now, I would like to introduce my fellow commissioners. Thank you. My fellow commissioners on this journey are Jacqueline Herrera Heron to my left, next to her, Jeremiah Johnson, and then Anton Matthews. Commissioner George Bridges is not with us today, and now I'm going to recognize all those partners that we have in terms of government officials. We have today Mayor Ann Taylor from, there you are, from the city of Waukegan. We have Edie Newsom, Fifth Ward, Ms. Edie, Alderman, there she is. We have Alderman Keith Turner from the Sixth Ward, thank you sir. We have, well, Congressman Schneider's on his way. All right, <laughs> Judge Nearheim, thank you for your sister. We have State Senator Adrian Johnson, another one we want to greatly thank. And let me see if I miss anybody. Mm, did I miss somebody? Well, we would love to have her, but thank you for coming. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to introduce Jay Lerner, who is the executive director of the Waukegan Park District, because he's going to do the next segment. All yours. Thank you, Janet, uh, and thanks to the uh, Board of Commissioners for supporting this project. As we, this program has sat empty for um, over 50 years, and due to a great partnership with the Waukegan Historical Society, we are able to bring this building back to life. Um, probably about four years ago, Harry came and Ty Rohr came to my office and said, hey, I think we got somebody that will give $5 million for this project. Are you in if they do? And I say, absolutely. And here we are, I'm in. So uh, you know, thank you so much for Historical Society. The funding for this project and how everything's pulled together is like literally once in a lifetime type of project. So we've over uh, $13 million have been raised through grants, donations, and other sources for this project. That more than quadruples any other park district fundraising effort we've ever done. And this is not just a fundraising effort, the Park District Historical Society as well. Um, the Historical Society has brought in over $6 million from donations, which is amazing. And then we've received uh, $3 million from uh, the Housing and Urban Development Federal Grant that uh, Congressman Brad Schneider helped us with. And then Senator Johnson, she helped us with $3 million from the state of Illinois as well. 
other grants like IDNR Museum Grant, Lake County, Waukegan CDBG Grant, Coastal Management Grant, and the Historical Society Private Donations has all made this possible. As of today, this project will cost about $13.5 million, and as I said, over 13 has been brought in from grants and donations, so thanks for everybody for their support on, that pro on this project. And uh, I'd like to introduce the uh, project team that is putting this whole project together. Um, the Historical Society and the Park District's team, uh, Quincy Baster, Eric Beverly, Chris Murphy, Tim Grimshide, Ben Richards, Ty Rohr, Brian Escobar, Lori Nierheim, Harry Kane, and many more. If I forgot any of you, I apologize, but thank you. It's been a, a great uh, ride so far as we've got into the construction stage. And for construction, uh, Berglund Construction, thank you for what you're doing to make this happen. Harbo Architects, Gunny Harbo, you'll hear from Gunny in a little bit, and then our owner's rep, Jerry Alicio from AT Group. So today starts the journey for this project. We're hoping maybe 12 to 14 months. We'll see how everything goes with construction, and hopefully we'll be here in a little over a year cutting the ribbon. So at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, the president of the Historical Society, Lori Nierheim, to say a few words. Thank you, Jay, and um, it's my privilege to welcome you all here today on behalf of the Waukegan Historical Society. Uh, this is such a great day, and um, this groundbreaking is, as, as Jay said, the start um, of the next phase of the construction, and we wouldn't be here without all of you. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Uh, about four and a half years ago, we started looking at this as a possibility instead of the, our plans for expansion at the current museum in Bowen Park, and to be able to save this cherished building and it's right here in beautiful downtown Waukegan overlooking the lake. Uh, it just made a whole lot of sense. So we're so pleased we were able to engage Gunny Harbo and his team thanks to the support of a generous foundation, uh, private foundation that's here today that has really helped us in this project. And their team uh, went about and did a, a, a very detailed uh, study to make sure this could do what we wanted to do. And at the end of that time, they said it could. It could meet all of our goals and then some. So uh, we then, after the city acquired, or the park district acquired the building, we spent a couple years trying to get the parcels to the north, which were really key uh, from the IDOT. And that was critical for being able to add a small addition for accessibility. And I want to thank uh, Senator Johnson, uh, Senators Melinda Bush, and Senator, Senator Julie Morrison for all their support in helping us make that happen. Uh, so that was a, a long two and a half years to get that piece in place. And since then, our team has been meeting for the past two years, the, the, the folks at the Park District, our board, uh, together with Harbo's team, Berkland, we've been meeting every week for two years to really put together a very thoughtful, uh, collaborative plan uh, that is really going to meet the goals of our building. And soon, when we open in 12 months, you're going to see just history come to life. Uh, we're so excited. We have our friends here from uh, Lucy Creative, our exhibit design firm, who is working with our exhibits team. That's Ty uh, Rohr, Brian Escobar, Josh Bill, and Diana Dretzky, who are working together to really make that all come to life. Um, and so people will better understand our shared history and how they can be empowered to live a better life here in our community as well. So uh, one thing I want to just kind of go back to, Andrew Carnegie, uh, we mentioned his generous gift to us in 1901 to start this library. And uh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be standing here today. And if it wasn't for our generous funder from the private foundation, all of these great grants and your support, we're now paying it forward, hopefully another 120 years for the next generations uh, to benefit from this uh, for our community. Uh, Carnegie once said, uh, you know, aim high, and I think you've seen we've done that, and uh, I hope you're feeling proud of what's, what's to come. So with that, I want to turn it over to Mr. Gunny Harbo to hear a few words from him. Oh, it's cold. Thank 
you, Lori. Uh, and thanks so much for everybody for coming out today. This is really, given the, given the weather, I'm excited to see so many people here. It's just a testament to what this building means to Waukegan. And uh, our architects and our team of consultants and the Berglund Group that we've been working with, this is this is what we do uh, every day. This is returning a building like this back to a community in a useful, purposeful way. I, I'm really excited about it. It's been four years, but I think uh, well worth the wait. And I can't wait to see it done. Uh, everybody's really excited to get it going. And some of us didn't, weren't sure whenever we'd ever see it, but here we are. And uh, I think you all keep an eye on it over the next year, and you'll you'll be seeing a transformation unfold. And then when we gather here again in about a year from now, I think you'll all truly be amazed and astounded at, at what beautiful building this this is and what it will be. So thanks again for everybody, the Park District, uh, the Historical Society, and Waukegan in general. We're really really pleased to be a part of this thing. Thank you. So, of course, we have state and federal uh, supporters here, and those will be in the uh, name of uh, Congressman Brad Schneider. You're part of our $3 million club. You get to come over here and say something. <laughs> <laughs> well, good afternoon. I think the best thing I can tell you is that I'm not going to read the 15-minute speech. <laughs> no, it is, a, it is a true honor to be here, and the idea of restoring what is part of our community's history, part of more than 100 years of history, is something really significant. I think just as significant is how this came to be. The fact that so many people across our community came together to make this possible. To, to advocate, Buzz was talking to me, to advocate uh, to bring this to reality and now to stand here together as one. This, the future of the Carnegie Building is going to be a centerpiece of the future in the next century for the community of Waukegan. I am grateful to be a part of it. I'm a grateful to be a part of this community and I'm thankful we were able to bring $3 million of federal funds to make all this possible. I look forward to, I look forward to see the dream become a reality. Thank you. So I'm going to introduce the next uh, $3 million club, and that would be Senator Adrian Johnson. What you might not know about Senator Adrian Johnson is that she got her political feet wet being part of the Buffalo Grove Park District. So she's very well aware of how important park districts are to our community. So Ms. Adrian. Thank you, Janet. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so great to see all of you. And uh, on this historic a groundbreaking day uh, for a very historic moment and I am so pleased to have been to be a part of community that came together to provide much needed funding for this important project. As Lori mentioned, we're going to bring the Waukegan history to life. So the Waukegan History Museum at the Carnegie is going to be a great place for all of us to come. And I am so excited. I cannot wait to be a part of it when you open in about a year or so. Uh, you know, there's going to be, as you know, the archival library and, and, and uh, the temporary and permanent exhibits, classrooms, and uh, so much more. Event space for community members such as yourselves to come and host meetings. And who knows, maybe a young uh, kiddo will have the same experience as Ray Bradbury did many years ago because he attributes this great location right uh, to his development as a writer. And I want to say, so I was pleased to be able to secure $3 million, but 500000 is on the way, additional funding. Oh. So, from the state of Illinois. Uh, and so uh, I, I look forward with great anticipation for coming here and being a part of another historic day when we officially open the Waukegan History Museum at the Carnegie. Thank you very much. I was going to say, do we have a 600,000 out there? Now? Come on. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now, that's it for you standing out here in the cold. We're going to go ahead and take a group picture with us pretending that we're shoveling. So this is where we're going to segue next. So, yep, let's move. Want to throw it? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! Hold <laughs> <laughs> <Or> again. <laughs>